Hey guys, this is Zohar Water. Welcome back to some more Final Fantasy X. In the last episode, we transversed through the majority of Mushroom Rock. Mushroom Rock Road? Mushroom Rock. Whatever. Um, I did a little bit of training in between episodes, and yes, I did find this mysterious little, uh, square glyph rise up, rise down rock. It was actually in the very middle of the map. I'm not sure how I didn't see it. Um, but yeah, I went down there and there was a serene armlet, which I believe is for Kamari? Or Waka? I don't know. I can't- I can never remember these. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Kamari. I did a little bit of training. And by a little bit, I mean five minutes. Um, I didn't want to go too much because I wanted to see how much, uh, spear levels I had in between spear grids. I didn't really mess around with Orn a lot because I feel like he's in a good position. So, I'm gonna just head over here. I... I'm actually gonna save that real quick and move on to the other spears because I don't know if anyone else actually needs that. Because I only have one ability spear and I really don't want to have to go out of my way to get more. Um... Now the question is where do I want to go? That's... Oh, this is... Uh, this is, um... Riku's spear graph from, from the, way back in the beginning of the game. So I'm gonna go up this way because... I mean, I could use that, but at the same time, eh. It's not gonna be of much use since I have no b uh, ability to steal right now. So just go ahead and do these. So actually, go all the way over here. So at this point, oh, I'm so close too. At this point, um, I I, I usually gauge if my characters are of level for what's ab what's about to come up. Usually by Lulu's magic. So I think at this point most people would actually have Lulu having learned the level 2 black magic skills. Fire-a, Blizzard-a, Water-a, and thunder -a. But yeah. Uh, ooh, I forgot everyone else. But yeah, since I have not hit that point, I feel like I am a little bit underleveled. Probably not by much, though. Um... I... So what I was planning on doing was for Yuna, I was gonna have her deviate over to Lulu's spear grid and have her learn some black magic. But I really, and I mean I really want to learn prey. So I'm gonna have her go over here. And I definitely am gonna need life, because that way I don't have to buy any phoenix downs as much. Unless Yuna runs out of- Oh my god, I need so many ability spheres! Ah! Uh, whatever! Um, I don't want to waste too many- too much money if I can right now. Uh, not like it matters because I'm- I actually don't know if there's any way for me to buy any ethers and elixirs so I can recover MP. Huh, that's awkward. Okay, so I am gonna need a few ability spheres, so give me just a hot second to go wrangle those up before we descend- or ascend up to the command spear. Command center. Actually, while I'm here, I just realized uh, Yuna actually has her overdrive. So let's go ahead and show off Ifrit. Specifically, let's show off the cutscene when we summon Ifrit. And let's go show off his overdrive. It's actually really neat. I love all the ands, all right? I just realized I forgot to use Extract Ability. Well, I really hope they drop a uh, Ability Spear for me. So here we go. Ifrit's Overdrive is Hellfire. Funny enough, this um, Overdrive will actually change its animation just slightly depending on the size of the enemy it's fighting. So normally it would do that Pillar of Fire, then the Spear of Fire. However, in most cases if the enemy is too big or if there's too many monsters to deal with, um, it's just gonna automatically transition into that ball of fire with this giant rock hitting it. I'm really surprised I didn't kill the bird. And how many times are you gonna hit me? One time. Two times. I might die. Three times. I am not dead. And you're nowhere near enough to die. So, I'm gonna just actually dismiss myself. 
Because I don't want to actually have my Aeon die. I mean, it doesn't matter if my Aeon dies. There's a safe spear right there. I can just get it cured. But at the same time, I also need to use extractability. So, there's that. Anyways, back onward to the grind. All right. Okay, so I believe we got all the ability spirits that I'm going to need right now. Unless, you know, someone else goes into an area where I need to get an ability spear. Crap. So, I'll just move Yuna all the way over here. We're gonna learn Prey. Thank God I don't have to deal with this crap. So, half the time when I have Yuna out there, um, I don't have anyone to necessarily heal. Or everyone's just taking a little bit of damage and there's no one to really focus Cure on. So, I really like using Prey just to be able to use it. And it actually counts up for something else in the future. God damn it! Titus! Ah! Why do you have to be next to a skill? Why? Whatever. Ability Spear. There you go. Now Kamari has haste. So we don't have to completely rely on uh, Titus now. Now he has a little bit more HP too. Uh, is that everyone? Is that everyone? Uh, wait. Wasn't there someone else who needed... Yes, you. Um, that's guard. Uh, sure. We'll, we'll have guard over delay attack. Because delay attack is a good move, a bad move. I'm not sure what to make of it. It's really... You have to choose your timing with it carefully. Otherwise, you will screw yourself over. And sometimes it doesn't even work. That's the thing that I can't deal with. Anyways, going up. This weird elevator thing. Sees. Ow! Ugh. He really hates them, huh? Chapu. He left the sword Waka gave him in Besaid. And he fought with an Albed Machina weapon instead. That's got nothing to do with it. I just hate these sacrilegious contraptions. Okay, so, um, hopefully Waka didn't take any damage from doing that, right? Uh, yeah, it's safe to say Waka is very not keen with these Machina machines. Fun things I really wish I could see in front of here. I actually don't know if I can reach that area down there. But whatever. Talk to you people. You are Albed! I, uh... Hold on. I... Uh, I will be the one to finish Sin off. Is that is that what you're saying? I think that's what he's saying. Cannon got out of place when we fired a test shot. Packed too much powder, I guess. God, these cannons are really big. Kind of wish I could see them in action. Once Sin emerges from the sea, we'll commence firing. Our shots should send it long enough for the Alba Machina to finish it off. Oh, so this is not the big outbed machina that you guys are gonna deal with. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so geez, that's a lot of people. Um, oh.
won't work anyway. Don't say that. Hmm. It might be a hopeless campaign. And it might mean defying Yevon. But the Crusaders and the Albed, they're doing their best to defeat Sin. They want to rid Spira of Sin forever. And that's just what we want too, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> all right, all right. But I still think Mac and I are bad news. They're forbidden for a reason. Lady Summoner, there you are. The command center is that way. Maester Keenock is also there. Maester Keenock too? Yes. Please, hurry, my lady. Okay. Waka, you're getting a little bit annoying with this Machina are forbidden thing. Can you at least tell us the reason why they're forbidden? Because no one's actually really said anything about that. Well, aside from being, um, Machina being used for lazy people and whatnot. Anyways, that merchant's obviously- Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, Awaka managed to sneak all the way in here. We're only moments away from commencing Operation Meehan. Spear's fate hangs on the outcome of this mission. We will do our duty as soldiers and defeat Sin this day. Sir! Okay. It's important to spare my men on every now and then. Maybe I should give them another pep talk to be sure. Hoo hoo, this is not gonna be fun. We're inspecting the weapons right now. That, that's all you have to say. Really? Ooh, tiny crusader! Come on, swing like a man! Do you want to avenge your sister or don't you? I'm gonna beat Sin! I'm gonna beat it! I'm gonna beat it no matter what! Okay, um... That's kind of where I draw the line, having little kids also fighting for the cause. A a possible hopeless uh no a possible hopeless cause mind you I don't know what words were trying to come out of my mouth right then and there yeah what do you want to know oh I could talk about all this really yeah I'll bet provide us with these cannons at no charge don't get me wrong I'm no Albed lover but I got a little respect for them now these cannons have good range we'll give Shitsin a shower to it won't soon forget oh my God I cannot read. Holy garbage. Only a select few can become Chocobo Knights. You have to be a skilled writer or achieve some combat merit to become one. Captain Lucio is no doubt the best of the bunch right now. I just don't know how that Wimp Clasco got knighted. Well, he is good at earning their trust. The Chocobos, that is. Okay, what is... Operation Meehan. We've researched Sin's past behavior in this... In this... In, the, in planning this operation. Then often turns up where its sin spawn are. So we hunt down the sin spawn at various places and brought them here to lure it. When it shows up, we're gonna hit it with the ancient machina and it's bye bye sin. The crusader's responsibility is to lure sin and immobilize it. The Albed will deliver the fine finishing blow. I wish it could be the other way around, but as long as we defeat sin, who cares? Huh, <laughs> haha, I, I mean, you, you're just saying that just so you, you're not in the middle of all that danger. Waka! Monopoly's a great thing. Things are selling no matter what the price. Oops, sorry, I forgot. Alright, any weapons? Uh, oh! Oh my god! Oh, Jesus, those prices! Uh, Avenger, counterattack, stone touch, and initiative? Oh my god! Oh, Waka, where the crap are you getting all these? Jeez! I don't have the money for any of this garbage. Ooh, ooh, that, that hurts. Oh my god, and I really want you guys. I'm pretty sure this is the only time you sell them, too. Welcome. Well, and I can't donate you any money, so what I'm gonna do, um, I do not trust myself actually getting life to go off as much as I wanted to. So I'm, I'm gonna get that. I don't, I think poison is a thing. But I'm not too sure. Alright. So real quick, before we go into the fray, I just kind of want to look over everyone's equipment right now. And make sure that we're all set to go. Because if anything, um, we are going to get into a boss battle. And I would rather be very well prepared than screwed over. 
very much screwed over, mind you. Uh, oh, and I wish Sleep Touch would actually do a little bit more than I would like. Unfortunately, it does not. However, this will. And, alright, here we go. Uh, I'll have people rearranged later. The operation will begin shortly. Please check all your equipment. Mm. You alright? Of course not. I came here to fight Sin. But they stick me here! If you want to prove yourself. Huh? First, you must complete the tasks you are given. Oh, I guess God is not very happy. Just doing what they say, it just won't be enough. Um, I don't know if this actually has an impact on what happens coming up. If it does, it'll be on the screen either now or in the next episode when that thing does happen. Uh, in my case though, I would definitely say Garden and Command Center is important too. Because if anything were to happen to the commanding officers while in the midst of this operation and the front lines find out, that could definitely dip the morale very low. Likewise, he's less likely to get hurt, because I doubt Sin's gonna go straight after the command center. Or at least, that's what I think. He's also young. You'd think the same if you were me. Okay, just be a little snobby little brat, why don't you? Oh! I had heard from Seymour, but I didn't know if we'd actually meet. Good to see you, Oren. Ten years, is it? <laughs> That's Wen Kinok, one of the four maesters of Yevon. He leads the warrior monks, and also commands the crusaders. All troops ready to move at your command, sir. Good. Dismissed. Sir! Tell me, Oren, where have you been the last ten years? We don't have time for this now, do we? This plan won't work, you know that. We'll just let them dream a little longer. What? Lord Keenock? Oh, yes. Proceed. That Keenock a maester? I heard that, Oren. A lot has happened in the last ten years. What were you doing and where? Fulfilling a promise I made to a friend. I still am. Just tell me one thing. Have you seen Xanarkand? <laughs> I kinda... think we don't belong here. It is time at last. We must tell the Albed waiting outside to begin the operation at once. The fiends may break through. This place is not safe. Make sure you're prepared to defend yourselves. Tell me when you're ready. Oh, so it looks like Orin does have a friend after all. Uh, yeah. So, if you want to do any sort of training, if you want to go buy anything, if you want to do anything else, Make sure you do it now before progressing on 4th, because as soon as you talk to this guy, you won't be able to do that. Um, in fact, I think there are some places that'll be inaccessible at this time after you talk to him. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> and then each of the characters have something to say about this matter. Anything could happen. Make sure you're ready for combat. Go to Yuna. But... I did go to Yuna. I'm a little... I, I did I did go to you. Know, ooh, there's a church inspector. Ooh, serene brace bracer bracer bracer. I'm stuck on an invisible wall. Okay, so there's those three. Where's Wonka? Where's Kamari? Uh, we have we God, we have the. 
Ancient Machina. The... The... Something will... I don't... Uh... <laughs> um... Great, everything's in code. With them here, it's like Yevon authorizes this whole operation. And you're not too happy about anything. And you just don't talk. Alright, so make sure you save before prog uh, progressing on forth. I, on the other hand, am going to end off the episode here. Um, I'm actually just going to go right into the fray. I've already prepared enough as it is. So in the next episode, we will go on forth and see what awaits us. Zor of Water signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one.